It's important to note that this is an experimental technique and I am not a trained health professional. I'm just someone who watches hundreds of relaxing videos every year. I know what works for me and I like to use that information to try to make content that will work for you. This particular recording will work very well for some people, but not for everyone. If you find that the intensity of this recording is starting to make you feel worse, please stop listening to it. This recording requires your attention. Please only listen if you are in a situation in which it is safe for you to withdraw your attention from what's happening around you. During this experience, there will be some times in which I give simple instructions regarding your breathing. There will be moments when I describe sensory experiences, and I will also be asking you to focus on different parts of your body. If any of these instructions don't feel helpful, maybe because breathing is difficult right now, or you'd prefer not to focus on a particular body part for any reason, or because you don't have a particular sensor body part, that's all right. I ask that you please forgive any such suggestions that are not appropriate to your situation, and that you use this time in a way that feels best for you. Maybe by focusing on another body part, skipping ahead in the audio, or focusing on some other calming technique that does serve you well. This simulated examination will go very quickly for quite a while, but will eventually slow down. Your eyes may be closed or open, it's your choice, but I'll be asking you to imagine or visualize quite a lot of things, so for many people, closed eyes will be preferable. I'm going to be giving you a series of instructions and asking a lot of questions. Remember, it's perfectly okay if you don't answer a question right, and it's okay if you don't follow some of the instructions correctly. I just need you to stay with me, and I need to see you're making an effort to keep up. Don't worry about giving good answers. It's much more important that you give quick answers. You may give your answers out loud or silently in your head, whichever you prefer. If I may have your permission to apply these sticky electrode sensors to your forehead and temples, they will pick up your brain activity, and that's what we're most interested in here. Hence why your actual answers are not as important as the speed with which you give them. Now, may I? I'm going to take the first sensor and apply it to your left temple right here. Perfect. I'm going to place another one on your right temple. Good. Let's do a couple more on your forehead, and as I'm placing them, I do want to let you know that at the end of our session, I'm going to be doing a countdown from 10 to 1. At which point, you can choose whether you want to drift away to sleep, here we go, or whether you want to return to a state of wakefulness. One more. Right here. Hold still, please. Very good. Now, I need you to focus your attention on me. See me standing in front of you. I smile. You're in good hands. I have a pen in each of my hands. I'm holding one out to the side on your left, on your left. and I'm holding the other out to the side on your, right. on your right. I want you to look at my nose. Look, look, look. Now, look at the pen on the left, and look at the pen on the right. Back to my nose. Look down at my shoes. They're black. Good. Back to my nose. Look at the pen on the left. Look at the pen on the right. Back to the pen on the left. Look at my shoes. Back to my nose. Good. Pen on the left. Good. Look at my nose. Look at my shoes. Pen on the right. Pen on the left. Down to my shoes. Good. I put the pens away and I outstretch my hands again. Now, how many fingers am I holding up on the left over here? How many? Good. Now, how many fingers am I holding up on the right? Say it again. Good. I extend one hand in front of me. My index finger is raised up. Look at my finger. 
Look, look, look. Good. Now, I'm going to ask you to picture a series of images in your mind, and I'm going to ask you questions about those images. Again, it's not important to give a correct answer. It's not important to give a good answer. It doesn't even matter if the answer makes sense. I just need you to give me a quick answer. Understood? Good. Now, picture a mountain. How big is the mountain? Good. Now, imagine a river. How wide is the river? How deep is the river? How quickly is the water flowing? Very good. Now, picture a house. Look at the house. Look at it. What color is it? How many windows does it have? Count them. How many? Good. Picture a key. What color is the key? What does it unlock? Good. You're doing very well. Now, picture a musical instrument. What instrument is it? What does it sound like? Listen to it being played. Listen to it getting louder. Now softer. Good. Very good. Imagine there's a pillow in front of you. Reach out and touch it. What does it feel like? Squeeze the pillow and now let go. Squeeze it again and release. One more time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and let go. Perfect. Now, I have three lightly scented little fabric circles here, each individually mounted on a piece of cardboard. When I scratch the fabric, it will release the scent. I will lift it up to your nose and ask you what you smell. As always, speed is more important than accuracy. Are you ready? Good. Number one, I'm going to scratch it to activate the scent. Bringing it up to your nose now, here we go. Breathe in. What do you smell? Say it again. Good. Number two now. Scratching it and bringing it up, up, up to your nose. Deep breath in through your nose. What do you smell? Tell me again. Good. One more. Here we go. Number three. Giving it a little scratch to activate the scent. Bring it up, up, up to your nose. Breathe in. What do you smell? Tell me again. Excellent. You're doing very, very well. Now, I'm holding a bag in front of me, and the bag holds an assortment of painted wooden shapes. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to reach into the bag and pull one out. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So reach down into the bag. Down, down, down. Feel around. Feel the different shapes. Feel the cool, smooth wooden pieces against your hand. Pick one, one shape. And pull, pull, pull it out. Good. Now... Look at the piece you pulled out. Look at it. And now, tell me, what shape is it? What color is it? Again, what shape is it? What color? Good. The amazing thing about these shapes is that you can change them into different shapes and different colors with your mind. And I'm going to ask you to do so in a moment. Look at your shape, look, 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 and change the color of it now. What color is it? What color? Good. Let's do that again. Look at the shape and change the color of it now. What color is it? Let's change the color again. Change it now. What color is it? Good. In a moment, we're going to change the shape, not the color, the shape. So look at your shape. Look, 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 and I want you to change the shape now. What shape is it? Tell me again. Good. Look at the shape. Look, look, look. Go ahead and change the shape now. What shape is it? And again, look at the shape. Change the shape. What shape is it? Good. 
Next, you will alternate in a random pattern upon my instruction between changing the shape and changing the color. At any moment, I may ask you to change the shape or change the color. I may go back and forth. I may repeat one or the other multiple times. Pay attention and do your best to keep up, please. So now, I want you to look at the shape. Look, 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 and change the color now. What color is it? Good. Look at the shape. Look, 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 and change the shape. What shape is it? Good. Look at the shape. Look, 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 and quick, change the shape. What shape is it? Good. Look at the shape. Look, 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 and I want you to change the color now. What color is it? Good. Look at the shape. Look, 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 and now change the color. What color is it? Good. Look at it. A little faster now. I want you to go ahead and change the shape now. What shape is it? Good. Change the shape now. Good. Go ahead and look at it. Look, 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 and change the shape. Good. Look at it and change the color. Change the shape. Change the color. Change the shape. Change the shape. Change the shape. Change the color. Change the color. Change the color. Change the shape. What shape is it? Good. Now we're going to start to slow your breathing. Breathe in and hold, and breathe out. Good. Again, a nice deep breath in, hold, and breathe out. Good. One more time. Breathe in, nice and deep, hold, and breathe out. Wonderful. Breathe at your own pace now, whatever is comfortable for you. I am holding in my hand, right? Here, a very special tool called a light wand. It's about the length and width of a pen. It's white, and when I activate it like this, the whole thing glows with a soft, warm, calming light. I'm going to be passing it over different parts of your body. It will not actually touch you, but it will pass close enough that you'll be able to feel the warmth of the light. As the light passes over you, it triggers a gentle but powerful physiological reaction that causes your muscles to begin to relax. I'll do one pass over your whole body, then we'll do a brief check-in, and then I'll do it one more time before wrapping up the session. I'm holding the wand up here, just above your head, above the crown of your head, and you should be able to feel the warmth penetrating your scalp. You should be able to feel the muscles in the top of your head beginning to relax. I'm bringing the light one down the front of your face, down your forehead, down your nose, and you should be able to feel the muscles in your forehead and your nose relaxing, relaxing, good. I'm bringing it over here by your ear and over down your cheeks, past your lips, your chin, along your jaw. You can feel all the muscles in your face getting warm and relaxed, and your whole body begins to sink deeper and deeper into relaxation. Good. I'm going to bring the wand down, down your neck. You can feel the muscles in your throat, the sides of your neck, the back of your neck getting warm and relaxed. I'm scanning it over your shoulders now, the muscles in your shoulders getting warm and relaxed, sinking deeper and deeper into relaxation. Bring it down, down your arms, down to each elbow, your forearms and your hands, all the muscles in your arms and your hands sinking deeper and deeper into relaxation. Bring the light back up. I'm going to quickly scan over your chest, your abdomen. At the same time, the light penetrates through the warmth, sinking into the muscles of your back, all the muscles of your back feeling warm and relaxed as you sink deeper and deeper into relaxation. Good. 
Traveling further down, you can feel the light passing over your hips, your thighs. The light is so warm and powerful, you can feel it warming and relaxing all of the muscles in your hips, your lower back, your buttocks, your pelvic area, all your body getting more and more relaxed, sinking deeper and deeper into relaxation, and now going down your legs. You can feel the warmth on your thighs going all the way down to your knees. Now your knees feeling warm and relaxed, sinking deeper and deeper into relaxation, going down the lower part of your legs, your shins, your calf muscles, relaxing, softening, feeling warm and safe and relaxed, going down, down to your feet now, the tops of your feet, your heels, the soles of your feet and your toes, all of them feeling warm and relaxed. Relaxed, relaxed, sinking deeper and deeper, relaxing, softening, feeling so good. Now I'd like to take a moment to check in with you. We're going to go ahead and just a bit and do a little more deep breathing at a slightly slower pace. And then another body scan with the light wand. Slower again this time. How are you feeling? I want to let you know that you are doing an amazing job. I want to remind you that while I'm the one leading this session, the effectiveness of it depends largely on your participation. So any success you have during this session is something that you should feel very proud of. You should feel brave and smart and strong because you are. You're doing a really good job here. Are you ready to move on? Okay. So again, we're going to slow our breathing. I'm going to ask you to take a nice deep breath in. Hold. And relax. Let it out. Beautiful. Nice deep breath in, hold, and breathe out, good, breathe at your own pace for a moment. With your next breath out, I want you to imagine yourself sinking even deeper and deeper into a calm, relaxed and pleasant state, alright? So. Breathe in, hold, and breathe out, sinking deeper and deeper, more focused, more calm, more relaxed, beautiful. Breathe in, hold, and breathe out, more and more and more, relaxed, good. One more time, nice deep breath in, and hold, breathe out, your body getting calmer, safe and warm and grounded and good. Now one more time, I'm going to take the light wand, I'm going to bring it up here above the top of your head. And just take a moment to enjoy the warmth radiating down into your scalp, spreading over the top of your head, the back of your head. muscles, all the little muscles in your head, your ears, now bringing the light down the front of your face, feeling the warmth sinking wonderfully and deeply, 
your forehead, your eyelids, your nose, the warmth sinking into your cheeks, your mouth, warmth radiating across your jaw. Good. Now the light wand is passing down your neck. You can feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into relaxation. Your breathing is getting slower. Your body feeling warm and wonderful all over. You can feel a warm glow in the back of your neck. Any remaining tension melting away. The one traveling over each of your shoulders. The left and the right. That wonderful warmth moving down your arms on both sides. Your elbows, your forearms. Now the light is passing over each of your palms. The backs of your hands, one at a time. Your fingers. What a warm and wonderful feeling. And now you feel the warmth spreading down your chest. Down, down, down. The warmth sinking deep into your muscles. All the way to your back muscles. The muscles of your back softening, relaxing. They feel so warm and so good. Moving further down your abdomen, your lower back, the sides of your body, everything just feeling good and safe and warm. The light wand passes over each of your hips. The warmth of the light penetrating deeply into your muscles. Warming and relaxing the muscles of your hips, your buttocks, your pelvic area. Warm and relaxed. Going down your thighs, the front. In the back, warm and relaxed, deeper and deeper into a safe, wonderful, good feeling. The light's moving down now over your knee. Feel your breathing deepen, your relaxation deepen, your good feelings of being safe and warm are sinking deep into your muscles, making you strong and steady. It feels so good. Now moving the light down your shins. You can feel the warmth in your calf muscles as well. Warm and relaxed. Down down to your feet, passing over the tops of your feet, the bottoms of your feet, over your toes, so warm, so relaxed. This concludes our session. And now I'm going to count from ten down to one, depending on your preference and your needs. You can either use the countdown to sink even deeper into relaxation and drift away to sleep, or you can use it to bring yourself back to a wakeful state. Either way, please be mindful of your body's needs and your mind's needs.
you may need some time to recover, so be gentle with yourself. And remember, if you need another session at any time, I'll be right here. Now, before I begin to count, take a moment to set your intention. Whether you're sinking deep into sleep or returning to wakefulness, just take a moment to breathe and get ready. Here we go. Going from ten to one. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hey y'all, it's JB. Before the video starts, I just wanted to share a quick message. Parts of this video are designed to fully occupy the language centers of your brain, which in turn is intended to temporarily halt any additional thought processing, interrupting any anxious thought cycles and giving you a chance to reset. Since the goal is to interrupt thought processing, I please request that you not listen to this video while doing any activity that requires your full attention to stay safe, such as driving, operating heavy machinery, or meticulously extracting a perforated shape from a piece of honeycomb candy using a needle in a high-stakes competition. Just a reminder, too, that I am not a trained health professional, and while I bring a lot of enthusiasm and research into these types of videos, I am ultimately just a mental health hobbyist who enjoys experimenting with new techniques, and none of these videos are meant to be a substitute for professional care. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello and welcome. Before we get started with the testing, I do need to apply a few electrodes on your head. There will be a few on your scalp right up here. I'll put a couple behind your ears, a couple at your temples, and a couple on the back of your neck. Is that alright if I do that? Okay. Now, the most important thing about this test is that you answer everything very quickly. Mm -hmm. We're going to be picking up speed in just a moment. I'm going to be giving you prompts, some different directions and things, and I'm also going to be giving you things to think about, or picture in your head, or name, and um, what we're tracking uh, with our equipment over here is your brain activity as you answer these questions. So it's really not important that you, hold on, this one's going to go right here, it's really not important that you give clever answers, or smart answers, or even answers that make sense. It's just important that you try and keep up as best as you can, and that you answer sincerely. So the first thing that pops into your head, okay? So if I ask you, name a flavor of ice cream, and the first thing that pops into your head is polka dots. Don't worry if it doesn't make sense. Just go ahead and say it, okay? All right, perfect. So let me get one right over here. We're gonna put a couple around back. All right, and there are just a couple spots I wanna get in your occipital area here. That's where the base of your skull in the back meets the top of your neck. I'm gonna be putting one on the left over here, and one on the right. I'll start over here. Just gonna 
very gently press it on. And finally one over here. We are ready. And remember, once again, answering quickly or responding quickly um, is more important than answering or responding correctly. For example, if I hold up this red pen and this green one, and I say, look at the green pen, and your eyes go over here, it's not going to mess anything up. It was just your first reaction. It's okay. If you need to correct yourself, you can. But again, this isn't about getting things right. This is just about sort of um, giving your subconscious brain a little time to stretch its legs while we let your conscious brain have a little bit more of a rest, okay? So, fast answers. Got it? Fast responses, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Look at the pens. Look at the green pen. Look at the red pen. Perfect. I'm going to begin moving the pens around. I want you to keep following the green pen. No matter how I move them, keep your eyes on the green pen. Following the green pen. Good. Very good. Following the green pen. Good. Now follow the red pen. Ignore the green pen. Follow the red pen. Good. Follow them up. Follow it down. Follow the red pen. Follow the red pen. Good. Follow the red pen. Good. Follow the green pen. Follow the green pen. Beautiful. Green pen. Following the green pen. Follow the red pen. Good. Beautiful. Follow the green pen. Follow the red pen. Beautiful. Good. Okay. A whole box over here of stuff that we're going to work through. Next, I'm going to grab these two cups, okay? We have a large blue cup on your right and a smaller pink cup on your left. So go ahead, look at the blue cup, look at the pink cup, look at the pink cup, look at the blue cup, look at the small cup, look at the large cup, Good. Look at the pink cup. Keep following the pink cup. Good. Follow the blue cup. Follow the blue cup. Follow the large cup. Follow the small cup. Follow the small cup. Follow the pink cup. Follow the blue cup. Good. Follow the blue cup. Follow the pink cup. Follow the big cup. Follow the big cup. Follow the small cup. Follow the pink cup. Follow the blue cup. Beautiful. Very good. All right, next. I'm going to hold this up for you. Okay, I'm going to stand to the side here for a moment. What we have here is six numbers. We have five, one, nine, zero, seven, and three. All right. So to begin with, I'm going to point at a number and say the number. And I want you to repeat after me. Okay. So if I point here and say five, you say five. If I point here and say seven, you say seven. Okay, so let's go. Five, repeat after me. Good. Nine, good. Seven, repeat after me. Good. Now repeat after me again. Three, zero, one. Again, we're going to go through, look at the number, and repeat the number that I say. Five, nine, seven, 
zero, three, one. Okay, we're going to do it one more time, a little bit faster. As I point to each number, look at the number and say the number that I say. Five, nine, three, seven, zero, one. Good? Very good. Okay, so for this round, no matter what I say, I want you to say the number that you see me pointing to. Okay, so if I point here and say four, I want you to say one. If I point here and say seven, I want you to say nine. If I point here and say two, I want you to say zero. Got it? Okay, so I'm going to be pointing at a number. I'll say a different number, but I want you to say the number that you see, okay? Four, two, three, six, nine, four. Okay, good. This time we're going to go a little bit faster. I'll point at a number. I'll say a number. I want you to say the number that you see. Only say the number I'm pointing to, okay? A little bit faster. Three, two, four, three, seven, nine. Good. One more time, a little bit faster. Again, you are saying the number that I'm pointing to. Two, four, two, seven, eight, six. Beautiful. You're doing wonderfully. Okay. Next, a slightly similar exercise. Here we have some shapes in different colors. We have a red heart, an orange circle. We have a yellow square. We have a green triangle, a blue rectangle, and a purple diamond. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit similar. I'm going to point to each one, and I want you to repeat after me, okay? We're going to start with shapes. So I will say heart, and you will say heart. Circle, and you say circle, okay? So repeat after me. Look at the shape and repeat what I'm saying. Heart, circle, square, diamond, triangle, rectangle. Good. This time I'm going to point to it and I'll say the color. I want you to look what I'm pointing at and say the color, okay? So red, yellow, orange, blue, purple, green. Okay. So now I'm going to start pointing and what I want you to do is I will say either shape or color. I'll say, say the shape, and you say heart. I'll say, say the color, and you'll say red, okay? Say the shape, say the color. Good. Say the shape, say the color. Say the color, say the shape. Say the color, say the shape. Say the shape, say the color, say the color, say the shape, say the shape, say the color, say the color, say the shape, say the shape, say the shape, say the color, say the color, say the color, say the shape, say the shape. Say the color. Beautiful. You're doing so well. Okay. This image has four different fish bowls. You will notice that one has a fish in the bowl, one has a fish above the bowl, one has a fish below the bowl, and one has no fish. So, I am going to point to one of the images, and I want you to say either fish in the bowl, above the bowl, below the bowl, or no fish, okay? 
in the bowl, above the bowl, below the bowl, no fish. Okay? So just say whichever one I'm pointing to. This one. Good. This one. This one. This one. Beautiful. This one. 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 Good. Okay. So now I'm not going to be touching any of them. I'm just going to be telling you which one to look at. So I will either say in the bowl, above the bowl, below the bowl, or no fish. Okay? In whichever one I say, I want you to look at that image. Okay? So let's get started. In the bowl, below the bowl, above the bowl, no fish. Good. Again. Above the bowl, below the bowl, no fish, in the bowl. Okay, a couple more times, faster. In the bowl, above the bowl, below the bowl, no fish, below the bowl, in the bowl, below the bowl, no fish, above the bowl, in the bowl, below the bowl, in the bowl, no fish, above the bowl, no fish, in the bowl, below the bowl, above the bowl, no fish, in the bowl, below the bowl, no fish, no fish, in the bowl. Perfect. You're doing a wonderful job. Okay. Next, we have a couple more tests that's going to involve looking and identifying things, and then we'll have a few tests which will involve having your eyes closed, okay? Alright, so I have some plastic assorted toy foods and I'm going to be instructing you which one to look at, okay? Look at the orange. No matter how I move them, look at the orange. Look at the orange, ignore the banana. No matter what the banana does, ignore the banana. Look at the orange, look at the orange, look at the orange, ignore the banana. Look at the orange, Look at the banana. 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 Look at the orange. Good. Okay. Broccoli. Tomato. Look at the broccoli. Look at the broccoli. Look at the broccoli. Look at the broccoli. Look at the tomato. Look at the broccoli. Look at the tomato. Look at the tomato. Look at the broccoli. Look at the tomato. Keep following the tomato. 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 Broccoli. Follow the broccoli. Look at the tomato. Look at the broccoli. Look at the broccoli. Look at the tomato. Perfect. Next. Carrot. Eggplant. Look at the carrot. Look at the carrot. Look at the carrots. Look at the carrots. Look at the carrots. Ignore the eggplants. Look at the carrots. Look at the carrots. Look at the carrots. Look at the eggplants. Look at the carrot. Look at the eggplants. Look at the eggplants. Look at the eggplants. Look at the carrot. Look at the eggplant. Look at the orange one. Look at the orange one. Ignore the purple one. Look at the orange one. Look at the carrot. Look at the purple one. Ignore the orange one. Look at the purple one. Look at the orange one. Look at the carrot. Look at the eggplant. Look at the eggplant. Look at the carrot. Look at the purple one. Look at the carrot. Look at the orange one. Look at the purple one. Look at the carrot. Look at the orange one. Look at the purple one. Look at the carrots. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Now, for our last visual test, I have this bag and it is full of these little wooden numbers, okay? So we've got a green S here. And what I'm going to be doing to begin 
is I'm going to be lifting up the letter and I will say name the letter or name the color. So if I hold this up and I say name the letter, you will say F. If I say name the color, you'll say green. Okay? So let's give it a try. Name the letter. Name the color. Name the color. Name the letter. Perfect. Next one. Name the letter. Name the color. Name the letter. Name the color. Name the color. Name the letter. Beautiful. Name the letter. Name the color. Name the color. Name the letter. Name the color. Name the letter. Name the letter. Name the color. Name the color. Name the letter. Name the color. Good. Let's grab one more. Name the color. Name the letter. Name the color. Name the letter. Beautiful. Okay, so I have um, these two letters. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be lifting up different numbers, uh, different letters. And what I am going to do this time is I'm going to say wrong color or wrong letter. So if I hold this up, I say wrong color. You can say purple, green, blue, orange, anything except for red. Okay. So wrong color. Good. And then if I say wrong letter, you can say any letter A through Z except for you. Okay? Okay. So let's try it. Wrong color. Wrong letter. Wrong color. Wrong letter. Wrong color. Wrong letter. Good. Wrong color, wrong letter. Good. Wrong color, wrong letter. Good. All right. So this time for this round of letters, I'm going to be holding one up and I will either say, say the letter, say the color, wrong letter or wrong color. Okay. So just as a reminder, if I say, say the letter, you say S. Say the color. Say green. If I say wrong letter, you can say any letter other than S. Wrong color. Any color other than green. Okay? Let's give it a try. Say the letter. Wrong letter. Say the color. Wrong color. Good. Wrong letter. Say the color. Say the letter. Wrong color. Say the letter. Wrong letter. Say the color. Wrong color. Wrong letter. Wrong color. Say the letter. Say the color. Beautiful. Wrong color. Wrong letter. Say the letter. Say the color. Say the color. Wrong color. Say the letter. Wrong color. Say the color. Say the letter. Wrong color. Wrong letter. Say the letter. Wrong letter. Say the color. Wrong color. Say the color. Wrong color. Say the letter. Wrong letter. Wrong color. Wrong letter. Say the letter. Say the color. Say the letter. Say the letter. Say the letter. Wrong letter. Say the color. 
wrong color. Say the letter. Say the color. Say the letter. Wrong letter. Wrong color. Say the letter. Perfect. You're doing so well. Okay. The next few tests involve visualization. Um, so, again, I know some people have a harder time visualizing than others. Some are quite good at it. I want to remind you that good answers or right answers are not as important as quick ones. So if you're having trouble visualizing, or even if you find yourself visualizing things that seem weird or like they don't match the question, that's fine. Just give me your quickest response, okay? So I'm going to grab this eye mask right here. nice and soft, and I'm going to place it gently over your eyes. And this would probably be a good time for me to let you know that an important part of our readings that we're going to be taking from those electrodes is a period of rest. We kind of want to see how your brain waves transition between the time that we're testing you to the time that we stop testing you. So, once I finish up the testing, I'm going to leave the eye mask on, I'm going to dim the lights, and I'm going to leave the room. For us to get the best reading, I do ask that you stay where you are, have a nice extended period of rest of at least 5 to 10 minutes, but no one else is using this room today, so if you want to take a nap or even get a few hours of sleep, you are welcome to, okay? Yes. So, at the end of the test, I'm going to leave on the mask and give you some quiet, restful time alone. All right? Great. All right. This next test is a little bit tricky, but I think once you get the hang of it, you're going to do great. I am going to be reading you something. It's a bit of sort of nonsense prose. It doesn't make a lot of sense, and it's not supposed to. So as I read all of this to you, what I'd like you to do is try and say all of the words I'm saying along with me. So in reality, you're essentially repeating every word as I say it, but you're trying to do it so promptly that it almost sounds as if we're speaking at the same time. Nearly everyone will inevitably get some words wrong or trip up. That's totally normal, expected even, and that's fine. Again, speed is more important here than accuracy. So as I'm reading this whole thing off, just do your best to repeat everything I'm saying in such a quick way that it sounds almost as if you're saying it at the same exact time as me. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to read the whole thing through from beginning to end, moving around you from one side to the other. So don't wait for me to stop before you start repeating. I want you to try and speak this along with me, every word, okay? Great. Ideally, you will talk along with me out loud so I can hear you, but if for some reason you feel you need to just follow along in your head, that's fine too. Just do your best to keep up and talk along with me. So begin talking along with me now. Do you hear the murmur of the filament, a kind of intrepid lilt, cascading through the warm, wandering silhouette of the Gothic door? Deep within the gazebo, a diaphanous galaxy of twinkling timpani Flowing in the mellow, languid like flannel, playing peekaboo in the blue, cool moon. The paradox of the quickening, a radiant purple hue, evocative of rhododendron, bucolic in all its becoming. Aurora hippopotamus, gorgeous on the ripple, 
fulfilling quiet kindling in the contentment of gentle dunes. An unraveling umbrella, elated with abundance, relenting to the lullaby of illuminated fortitude. If euphoria peaks an epiphany, if the coconut comforts the pumpkin, a pink pillow behind the elixir emerges from the tranquil sequoia. I wonder where the lagoon went. I hope the ineffable abundance of the bubble cradles my amiable mind. A quaint aqua blossom, a willingly exquisite sentiment, belonging above the dream-tinted talisman, perfects a delicate button. Although the moment is nearly over, the cathartic embankment imbues the current with unique clarity. Dulcet in the brambles, sanguine to the peregrine, ethereal in this bliss. All right, that's it. You did a great job. You can stop talking along with me now. We're going to move on to a few visualization exercises. So just continue to sit there and relax. Breathe deeply. And I'm going to ask you to name a series of things. We'll go through them pretty quickly. With each prompt, please answer out loud, ideally, or in your head if you have to. Just name the first thing that comes to mind. It's only important that you answer quickly. And you may hear me snapping as we move from prompt to prompt. It's all part of the test. Now. Go ahead and name something for me that is very big. Good. Next. Name something that's very small. Very good. Name something that's very nearby, very near to you. Good. Name something that's very far away. Great. Name something that's round. Name something that is square. Okay, next. Name something that is soft to touch. Yep, that works. Next. Name something that is rough to touch. Perfect. Name something that tastes sweet. Good. Next. Name something that tastes salty. Beautiful. And... Name something that makes very loud sounds. And name something that makes very quiet sounds. Great. All right, for these next two exercises, I'm going to ask you to imagine yourself in a specific scenario, and I'm going to ask you some questions about it. So first, I want you to imagine yourself standing by the ocean. Keeping your eyes closed, imagine yourself standing by an ocean. Now I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Answer them as quickly as you can. What is the temperature like where you are? Is it hot, warm, cool, cold? What does it feel like? Okay, good. Next. How big are the waves? Are there big waves, no waves? How big? Tell me. Okay. Next. What can you hear? When you listen, what can you hear going on around you? Beautiful. Next. Can you feel a breeze? If you can, is it strong or light? How does it feel against your skin? Good. If you inhale deeply through your nose, what can you smell? Standing there by the ocean, what can you smell around you? Good. Is it daytime or night? Good. Are there any other people around? And if so, how many? Good. Now we're going to leave the ocean and move somewhere else. I want you to imagine that you're sitting down in a comfortable chair. Sitting across from you is someone you like very much. They can be someone from your real life, someone you've never met, 
even a fictional character. Go ahead and pick your person. Imagine them sitting across from you, very close, so that your knees are only a few inches apart. Now I'm going to guide you through the scene, ask you a few questions. Please answer as quickly as you can, because I will be quickly moving on to each subsequent question. Okay, starting now. The person sitting across from you, who is it? Good. This person is smiling warmly at you. What does that look like? Okay, good. The person is holding a box wrapped in wrapping paper with ribbon and a bow. How big is the box? Good. What color is the wrapping paper? Very good. What color is the bow? Beautiful. The person hands you the box and you place it on your lap. How heavy is it? Beautiful. You begin to unwrap the present. How does the paper sound as you tear it away? What does it feel like? Good. You open the present and you look inside. What's the gift you are given? What do you see? Good. The person sitting across from you smiles and tells you why they got you the gift. What do they tell you? Okay. Moving on. I have a small item here in my hand. Nothing too interesting, just something simple. And I'm going to be moving it around in my hand, like this. You hear that sound? Okay. So I am simultaneously going to be moving from ear to ear and back again, making that noise, while also counting backwards from 30 to 1. And what I would like you to do as best you can, is try and ignore this sound. <laughs> Whichever ear this is happening in, just try to ignore it and focus entirely on my voice. So as I'm counting down from 30, you will focus your intention entirely on the numbers as I count them down. And you'll do your best to disregard this sound. All right, beautiful. And this is our last exercise. At the end, I will leave the mask on you. I'll dim the lights and I'll leave the room and you're free to rest, all right? Beautiful. So once again, ignore this. Focus only on the numbers, and do your best to count down along with me. Counting down softly out loud would be ideal, but if for any reason you feel you need to count down silently in your head, that's fine too. Okay, let's go. 30 
13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, JP. Um, what I'd like to do today is to kind of a quick, informal, uh, what I call a chaotic fast triggers video. I'm going to incorporate some stuff from my last um, anxiety stopper video, some of the stuff from that, and some new stuff as well. But it's been. It's gonna be some basic. Um, follow my directions type stuff. We're going to be moving pretty quickly, so just so you know that's what you're in for. Um, if you want something that's more slow-paced, uh, watch another video, because this isn't going to be that. Okay, thanks. Let's get started. All right, so here we have the tingle scale. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is take a quick look at it here. We have one means ASMR tingles are barely perceptible or not present at all. Two, mild ASMR tingles. Three is moderate ASMR tingles. And then four is ASMR tingles that may be qualified as stronger than moderate, but milder than strong. Very pleasant indeed, yet not the most powerful ASMR tingles one is capable of experiencing five is strongest ASMR tingles okay got it great so I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and for the very first part of this I'm gonna be making some noises first on this side and then on this side I'm gonna ask you to tell me on a scale of one to five how strong are the tingles okay let me go ahead and grab a prop real quick all right it's a glove so starting over here I'm gonna do this Scale of one to five, how strong are the tingles? On this side, scale of one to five, how strong are the tingles? On a scale of one to five, how strong are the tingles now? On a scale of one to five, how strong are the tingles now? Scale of one to five, scale of one to five. Okay, I'm gonna put it behind your head here. Scale of one to five. Scale of one to five. Scale of one to five. Good, you're doing great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my hand. Just kidding, I'm not gonna put it on my hand because I have fake nails on and uh, I don't wanna pop them off. So, sorry for the tease if you were excited about that. Scale of one to five. How strong? Scale of one to five. markers. We have a green one. We have a red one. Okay. We'll hold them right here. Okay. Look at the green one. Look at the red one. Okay. Look at the red one. Look at the green one. Look at the green one. Keep your eyes focused on the green one. Okay. Now we're going to switch. Look at the red one. Eyes focused on the red one. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Now, look at the green one. Look at the red one. Look at the green one. Look at the red one. Look at the red one. Look at the green one. Look at the green one. Look at the blue one. The blue one. Look at that one. Okay. Now, look at the green one. 
Look at the red one. Good. Beautiful. Okay. And keep following the green one. Good. You're doing great. Follow the red one. Beautiful. Next, I have a fuzzy owl right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to a few different parts of this fuzzy owl. It's fine. I talked to him ahead of time. He's totally cool with it. I'm going to point to the eye, the beak, the wing, or the tum-tum, okay? So, depending on where I point, I want you to say eye, beak, wing, or tummy, tummy, tum-tum. You can say belly, or um, furry, uh, squish, bedoogle, whatever you want to say is, is fine, as long as it's like annoyingly cute, okay? So, I say I, good. If I point here, you say beak. If I point here, say wing. If I point here, you say, okay, yeah, that works, that's fine. Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, what is it? 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 Okay, good. Great. Thank you for your flexibility. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ask you to look at my right finger over here on your left. Left finger. Okay. So, um, just to make this easier on you, we'll call this one left. We'll call this one finger on the left. Left finger. We'll call this one right finger. Okay. So, go ahead and Look at left finger. Look at right finger. Good. Left finger. Right finger. Good. Now look at my nose. Good. Okay. Look at the top of my head. Good. Look at my chin. Perfect. Left finger. Right finger. Nose. Right finger. Look at my left finger. Look at my nose. Look at the top of my head. Look at my chin. Perfect. Look at my right finger. Look at the left finger. Look at my nose. Look at my chin. Look at my nose. Look at my right finger. Look at the top of my head. Look at my right finger. Look at my nose. Look at my left finger. Look at my right finger. Top of my head. Look at my chin. Look at my nose. Great job. Next, I have this pen light here. I'm going to bring it in quite close to your face. Mm, that one's not that bright. Let's get a better one. So what we're going to do here is we are going to alternate between looking at my nose or following the light, okay? So to start off with, look at my nose, okay? I'm going to bring the light up and quite close to your eye and out. Keep looking at my nose. Good. Keep looking at my nose right here. Look at my nose. Look at my nose. Good. Now, follow the light. Good. Look at my nose. Keep looking at my nose. Look at my nose and follow the light. Beautiful. Okay. Keep looking at my nose and follow the light. Good. You're doing great. Keep following the light. Follow the light. Follow the light. Look at my nose. Look at my nose. Look at my nose. Follow the light. Follow the light. Look at my nose. Look at my nose. Good. Look at my nose. Follow the light. Beautiful. You're doing great. Okay. Look at my nose. Look at my nose. Look at my nose. Follow the light. Beautiful. All right, I'm just looking for my little fishy chart here. Oh, where is it? I wonder where that fish has gone. Here it is. All right, so we have my little blue fishy fish chart here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pointing to one of these four. And depending on which one I point to, I want you, please, if you wouldn't mind, say either in the bowl, above the bowl, below the 
bowl, no fish. Okay, so if I point here, you say in the bowl. If I point here, you say above the bowl. Below the bowl, no fish. Okay, so say it. Good. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, again. Keep saying it. Beautiful. Okay. And now this time I'm going to tell you which one to look at. So I'm not going to be pointing at them. I'm just either going to say in the bowl, above the bowl, beneath the bowl, or no fish. And whichever one I say, I would like you to look at that one, please. Let's see if I can get this with not too much glare. Okay. So if you could please look at in the bowl. Good. Above the bowl, perfect. Below the bowl, no fish. Great. Okay, mixing it up a little bit. In the bowl, below the bowl. Above the bowl, no fish. Below the bowl, in the bowl. Above the bowl, no fish. Above the bowl, below the bowl. In the bowl, no fish. No fish, above the bowl, below the bowl, above the bowl, below the bowl, no fish, in the bowl. Beautiful. You're doing an amazing job. Now, I've got these numbers right here, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pointing at one of these numbers at a time, okay? So, whichever one I'm pointing to. I just want you to say that number. If I point here, you say five, one, nine, zero, seven. Yeah. Okay, you get the idea. Okay. So whichever one I point to, I want you to say that one. What's this one? Good. What's this one? Good. What's this one? Beautiful. This one? Again. This one. Excellent. What's this one? Good. What's this one? Beautiful. What's this one? Great. What's this one? Excellent. What's this one? Beautiful. What's this one? Okay. Well, I'm going to point at the numbers and I'm going to say even or odd. And I want you to tell me if the number is even or odd. Okay. So, even or odd. Good. Even or odd. Beautiful. Even or odd. Good. Even or odd. Beautiful. Even or odd. Yes, yes, that's correct. Next, I'm going to take this very simple, classic uh, Dixon Ticonderoga 2 HP soft pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little eraser nib here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be booping different parts of your face. Is that okay if I touch your face? So I'm going to be using the eraser to touch different parts of your face. We're going to go back to the tingle scale, the 1 to 5 scale. I'm going to be asking you on a scale of 1 to 5, how strong are your tingles, okay? So, 1 to 5, okay. 1 to 5, good. 1 to 5, excellent. 1 to 5, good. Gently under the eye here. One to five. Okay. Under the eye. One to five. Okay. Eyebrow. One to five. Okay. Other side. One to five. Okay. One to five. You don't have to rate those last few ones, those were just for fun. Just for me. Okay. Next, I have these little, um, gel things that one would put 
over a light to change the color of the light, but we're going to do something a little bit different with it. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a couple of these and I will lower them over your eyes. I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? So, I'm going to take this whoop, lower it down like that. Okay? Is that all right? So, please tell me which one looks more blue? Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Which one looks more blue? Okay. Now, which one looks more blue? Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Good. Now, which one looks more blue? Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Okay, great. Which one looks more red? Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Which one looks more red? Okay. Which one looks more red? Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Which one? Okay, great. Now, which one looks more red? Number one or number two? Which one? All right. Which one looks more red? Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Hmm? Okay. Which one looks more blue? Number one or number two? Hmm? Okay. Which one looks more blue? Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Which one looks more blue? Okay, great. Which one looks more purple? Number one or number two? Hmm? Which one looks more purple? One or number two? Which one looks more purple, number one or number two? Number one or number two? Which one? Okay. Which one do you prefer? Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Now, tell me, which one do you prefer? Uno or dos? Uno or dos? Okay. That's right, some bilingual tingles. Follow the green. Good. Keep following the green one. Keep your eyes on the green one. Now keep your eyes on the red one. Beautiful. Keep your eyes on the red one. Keep your eyes on the red one. Good. Excellent. Now, I'm going to point to different parts of my face. I'm going to point to my forehead, my nose, my chin, or my cheek. I want you to know which one I'm pointing to. I want you to not just know it. I want you to say it, okay? So I'm going to point to forehead, nose, chin, or cheek. And I want you to say, okay? So if I point here, you're going to say forehead. If I point here, you're going to say nose, chin, cheek. Okay. What am I pointing to? Good. What am I pointing to? Mm-hmm. What am I pointing to? Yeah. What am I pointing to? What am I pointing to? What am I pointing to? Here? 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 Very good. Here? 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 What do you think? Okay. So, next, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to be moving it around. It's either going to be up, down, left or right, okay? And I want you to tell me where my finger is. If it's here, you say up. If it's here, you say down. Here, left. Here, right. Okay, so we're going to start right now. Where is it? Good. How about now? Mm-hmm. Now. Good. How about now? Beautiful. Again. Now. Where is it? Beautiful. Where is it now? Now. Where's my finger? Where's it now? Okay. Once again, bring my fingers up. And we're gonna call this one left finger. This one right finger, okay? I'm gonna ask you to look at left finger, or right finger, or my nose, my head, or my chin, okay? So, left finger. Look at my right finger. Look at my nose. Look at my chin. Look at the top of my head. Good. Left finger, right finger, top of my hand, 
Look at my chin. Look at my nose. Left finger. Right finger. Top of my head. Look at my nose. Left finger. Right finger. Look at my nose. Look at my chin. Right finger. Left finger. Look at my right finger. Look at my nose. Look at my chin. Look at my right finger. Look at my chin. Look at my nose. Look at my left finger. Beautiful. Okay, so now for this part, if you don't mind, I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes. You don't absolutely have to, but I'm going to ask you to visualize some different stuff if you can. Uh, for those of you who can't visualize stuff, just uh, come along for the ride, I guess. So, um, go ahead and close your eyes if you don't mind. And I'm going to ask you to visualize some different things, and I'm going to ask you some questions about them, okay? So, with your eyes closed, I want you to picture an animal. What animal is it? Okay. What noise does it make? How big is it? And now the animal is running back and forth in front of you. Is it quick or is it slow? Okay, beautiful. Now what I'd like you to do is I would like you to picture a house. Is it a big house or a small house? What color is the house? Mm -hmm. How many floors? Okay, looking at the house, how many windows do you see? There's some music coming from inside the house. What kind of music is it? Beautiful. Someone comes out the front door. They've got a big smile on their face. They wave to you. You realize it's someone you know. Who is it? Okay. Great. Next thing you know, the person reaches into a bag they have at their side. They pull something out of their bag and they toss it to you. What did they toss to you? Make sure you catch it. Okay. So now that you've caught it, go ahead and look down. What was it they threw to you? Great. Okay, what are you gonna do with it? Okay, yeah, no, I was just curious for that last one. All right, so next, what I would like you to picture is some body of water. What is it? River, lake, ocean? Okay, what does it sound like? Mm -hmm. Is the water moving or is it still? Okay, is the water dark and difficult to see through or is it very clear? Great. Now I want you to walk over to the water and very gently dip your hand into the water. How does it feel? Well, I imagine it feels wet, but is it warm? Is it cool? Is it cold? Okay, great. Now take your hand out and again, I want you to open your eyes. Look at my fingers. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move one finger close to you or the other one. Okay, so depending on which one is closer, if this one comes close, you say left finger. If this one comes close, you say right finger, okay? But I'm going to be having you close your eyes and open them, okay? Okay, so close your eyes. Now, open them. Which one is closer? Good. Close your eyes. Open them. Which one is closer? Good. Close your eyes. Open them. Which one is closer? Good. Close your eyes. Open them. Which one is closer? Beautiful. Close your eyes. Open them. Which one is closer? Close your eyes. Open them. Which one is closer? Beautiful. Close your eyes. Open them. Which one is closer? Good. Close your eyes. Open them. Which one is closer? Beautiful. Okay. Well, you have done a wonderful job. We're going to wrap it up here. It was truly a pleasure spending this time with you. I know there are an awful lot of things you could be doing with your time. It means a lot to me that you spend it with me. Thank you so much. I am very much looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.